What's up, people? I am... B shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm back for another video. Um, unprecedented third video today. But this needs to be discussed. Um, the music industry today. You know, I've done videos like this in the past, but like years ago. And, you know, I feel like... Because there's more to talk about. Because if anything, music's gotten fucking worse since then. When I did that, and that was probably 2014 or 15, maybe, when I made that video. But it's gotten way worse since then. And it's unfortunate, because, you know, music, to me, was one of my, like, you know, y'all know I love movies. But music, granted, more a little bit later in life, was, like, my second love, you know? You know, rock and roll, I mean, I've taught the whole video, like, more about specifically rock and roll, but I also like other genres. You know, I like old 80s pop, 80s, 90s somewhat pop. I like old rap, like 90s rap. That's probably about it. It's kind of where it stops and, you know, some 80s stuff. But, like, the problem is all around, like, all genres are just, just affected because you're not allowed to do anything different. Now, like, for example, you know, break it down just on this aspect. You used to have, like, music videos. I've been watching, like, old music videos pretty much the last few years. And you just, all genres, music videos felt like a, like a literal mini-movie. You know, like, it feels like you're watching a mini-movie or a TV show for however long the song is. And the music video would actually tie into the song. Probably one of my favorite music videos of all time is 18 in Life. The music video for that song is, like, perfect for the song itself. Same with like Welcome to the Jungle, you know, and stuff like you don't you don't get shit like that now. The music videos are just kind of generic. It, it's just like, oh, music videos are almost just like a background to put the song in now. That's all it is. And you can argue music was always like that in a way. Like music videos were kind of like background or like the backdrop, but at least then the music videos were pointing it to the, the song. Nowadays, it's just fucking, like, oh, we're just going to use this, just, like, the backdrop, whatever the music video is. It doesn't even have to do with the song. I don't know. There's no creativity anymore. The the, the fact that, like, I, I was talking about this earlier. The, you know, the loss of, like, albums. Albums, like, you know, even when I was coming up in the early, or, or, or more mid, but still early to mid-aughts. Albums were, like, a big deal. Like, if you know, every week that when an album would come out, it was almost like a movie coming out or, like, a new TV show at the time. But now it's just... Albums don't even fucking matter. And, yeah, it, it's twofold because it's the current... You know, you don't really need to buy albums anymore. Unless they're, like... You know what's so shit ironic? Unless it's, like, an old album, you don't... No one goes out of the way to buy new albums. For the most part, because there's no reason. You can just digitally download it. Whereas at least with the old ones, there's the, you know, you have like, well, and that's the other thing. Our album artwork is so shitty now. Unless you go like underground or, you know, you get bands like Sabaton or Nightwish. Who, but you know what the ironic thing is? Those are bands that have already kind of, were already grandfathered in the sense that they were already around before. It's the same thing with like, the only, <coughs> ironically, the only really good album this year I've listened to was a Korn album. Like, but it's not 2002 or 1998. Korn should not be my favorite album of the year. Like, just, same thing with one another really good song this year I've heard was from Tool. Like, what? Like, that's the problem. It's actually true now. Like, people, you know, used to say, oh, oh, back in my day, music. You know what? It's fucking true now. It is definitely true now. I saw someone say that, and it's unfortunately true. It, it is. Music literally is shit now. Um, you gotta go underground, and I get it. There's some good underground artists out there. But let's be honest. Some people are just, I'm gonna say it, are not in the mood to go look, look and look. But the, what, I'll, what, what they'll do is something like I do. I just listen to old shit. I know I'm kind of at that point now. With music specifically, I don't even listen to new shit anymore. Probably the newest thing I've listened to is maybe from like 2010, maybe. Maybe. And that's not even a new band. I was, like, that's like a Disturbed song that came out that year or something. It's like, there's no creativity. I think 
rap, unfortunately, is taking over, taking all, not taking, taking over everything. But what I mean is, at least, yeah, rap was big in the 90s, but so was other music. Now, <coughs> I can't even tell you a new rock band because, unfortunately, rap and, like, pop, I would kind of put pop there, too. <coughs> time to take in the mainstream and, and with those genres. Rap, specifically, it's this mumble rap bullshit. It's, you know, relying on machines, like, and I understand DJing and stuff like that. There is a bit of work to it. I'm not going to say that there isn't, but my God. The difference, I still got to say, there is a massive difference between, you know, using a machine or using, like, actual, like, instruments. I understand. I'm going to say it again. Because there are some DJs who get so butthurt when you bring this up. Because they're like, they'll try to say, oh, you're saying there's no work what we do? I'm like, no. But I'm not saying that, but... There is, like, a massive difference, though, versus, like, when you're actually just using an actual instrument, you know? And the other issue with the music industry is, like, there's no cool... You can't have a cool image anymore. You have to... Well, the other thing is we're in this, like, world now where every, like, quote-unquote celebrity... I hate the word influencer, but, yeah, that. You have to fucking talk about every political issue. Back in the day, you didn't get that. Yeah, you had your political bands like Rage Against the Machine, but you, look at where they are now. They're li literally a joke now. Like, I think that's the other thing, is some of like the more legacy bands or legacy musicians, they get so content with what they do, they don't even try anything new. And... Like, look at Rage Against the Machine. What's the point of listening to them now? If they even have new shit out there. Like, if they do, what's the point? It's, what, is it going to be the same, like, communist message or socialist message from 90, the 90s? Like, they never... Uh, I guess I'll turn this really quick into a Rage Against the Machine rant. Like, you know, they never evolved. You know, like, listen to a lot of their music. It's the same, like... The man bad, uh, it's, that's why to me, they'll never truly be a great band. I'm going to say it. You know, they have some good stuff out there, and I'm, and I'm not only saying that because I don't like their fucking politics either, but it's, it is true in that sense though. Like, it's all the same. Like, that's why to me, bands like Guns N' Roses will always last because they are a variety. And I think that's the other problem with most artists now. They don't do anything different. They want to I think another thing I was talking about was the reliance on singles. You know, and I, I think even before the 2010s, that was kind of a problem where less and less it became more about less. It became less about the album itself and more about, oh, we got to have just one or two hit singles. You know, at least before it was maybe a couple hit singles. Now it's literally just a single now. It's about like one song that, that will catch on, but, we're, we, but who gives a shit about the other fucking songs on there. You know, that's so dumb. <laughs> because that's another reason we don't get great albums. And I understand it's a mix of because <clears throat> the form has kind of changed a bit, you know? Like, now we're in a world where, yeah, you have digital music, or really that's kind of existed since the late 90s, but <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like Though, if albums were actually worth the shit, they would still sell. Like, it doesn't matter that, oh, you just download it digitally. Because if that's the case, how come old albums still sell? You know, old, out like, albums that were albums that came out, like, in the 90s or in the 80s or in the 70s. Those still sell. People still buy those. And that's because on those each individual... I mean, for, for example, fucking Dirt. Alice in Chains. That's my favorite, like, probably my favorite grunge album. And one of my favorite Rocket albums in general because that's because it has multiple songs on there that are good. Same with Appetite for Destruction. Same with, like, Ride the Lightning. You used to get albums that had multiple hits, not just one or two good songs. But this, like, reliance on you should only care about singles and that's it does, has, I think it has kind of killed the industry because 
it makes you like, who gives a shit about the other songs on there? And what if the single itself isn't good? There's even that, which most of the time it isn't because it's the reliant of just repeat the same word over and over again. That's kind of what it becomes. Like, especially in rap, this is more of a problem in rap and pop now. I'm not saying I don't see it in rock, but definitely more in rap and pop where you just repeat the same word over and over again. And that's considered a song now. With another thing with rap is like the, the lack of variety now. Because with rap, I mean, to be fair, even when gangster rap took over, you still had that variety, you know, in the 90s. You, yeah, you had your Tupacs and your Ice Cubes and your Dr. Dre's, but you also had your Will Smith's, you know, or more rappers who were more about the flow than not necessarily rapping about the gangster shit. You at least have variety back then. You know, even Shaq was rapping in the 90s. And he wasn't rapping about shooting motherfuckers. But it just became that when in like the odd, I would kind of say late aughts, mid to late aughts. And the 2010s, he just, it became, oh, you can only be this. And now it got worse because now it became mumble bullshit. And then with pop, it's just, you got to repeat the same lyric. And unfortunately, pop in general has kind of, taken over everything because there's pop, there was always pop rock and stuff but it's to a point where even rap is pop or country is pop now like it just because unfortunately a lot of these um music executives probably are like oh pop's like in so we gotta make it we gotta be hip with the kids so we're gonna put that in everything even though it doesn't fit and now you just lose that, like, variety of genre. Because one of the things about music I've always loved is, I, I think I've talked about this with a friend before, like, specifically, like, in years. You have, like, a year, like, let's say, 1992, you know? That year, you had, like, albums like Dirt, fucking, um, the Plush album. But that same year, you also had, like, Tupac albums, ice cube albums or whatever pop singer was big at the time music was so much of a variety it's like these songs came out the same fucking time you know and they're completely different like dirt is you know it's gonna be a different album compared to like whatever tupac album you know or you know ice cube album at the time i think it was a predator when he did his first album like that's how variety music was at that time that you got, even in the odds, you had like different types of music and like to the point where it felt like, wow, like it's crazy that these songs came out the same year and they're completely different. You don't get that now. Now everything just, oh, we got to make a pop version of this. We, it's pop version of rock or a pop version of rap or a pop version of country or pop version of whatever. It's just all the same shit ultimately. And it just blends together. And I understand, you know, there are people out there like, oh, but there's good stuff out there. You just got to look. But some people don't want to do that, like I said earlier. You know, I'm I'm at a point, I'm fine just listening to the same fucking songs over and over. I can listen to like, I'll just listen to Back in Black over and over again. You know, music sucks to that point. Like, it never gets old because that's when music was good. And there was an actual variety to it. It's just sad because music is one of my... That's like my second love after movies, you know, especially like when I got really, really into music. And I'm not even just talk about rock music either, rock and metal, I'm talking about like just in general music, like, like when you like see that variety <laughs> and it's just like sad because music, like I said earlier, was one of the biggest industries. Now music doesn't even fucking matter anymore. It doesn't even feel like a big deal. Like, okay, yeah, oh, this single came out. Download it. That's it. <laughs> you know, you don't get like the, like when an album came out, like I said, it felt like a fucking movie release or a TV, big TV show debut or premiere. You know, it felt like a big deal. People were talking about like what album came out that week. I don't, you don't get that now. And it's not just, well, everything's digital. No, that's bullshit because, you know, you can digitally download Dirt or download Appetite for Destruction, but people are still physically buying them. And those are those albums are from, like, 90. One is from 92, and the other is from 1987. You know, or people are still buying the Predator Ice Cube. I mean, I was from 92. You know, or All Eyes on Me. 
like people are still buying all out so it's not this like and those you can still get digitally also but if you genuinely if the album is genuinely good you want to own it you know i was even i was gonna talk about it and it just came back to me you don't get cool album art anymore. You used to get like an all more mainly. I guess it's more mainly rock and metal, but I do even rap and hip hop. You used to have like cool covers because sometimes they make the album covers like a comic style or a cartoon style or whatever style, and it had some like oh, with rock and metal specifically, it's always like this cool like art, like Iron Maiden albums, Guns N' Roses albums too, but like Iron Maiden, fucking. I would throw in, like, I think Judas Priest had a lot of cool-looking albums. Queen. You don't get that shit now. Now it's just generic. Oh, let's just put the singer there and, like, a backdrop or whatever. Some wording. It's so stupid, man. He used to have, like, unique covers. Album covers. Because that's what made you want to buy the album was the album cover. Because sometimes you would just want to take the, like, sheet out and, like, post it up on your wall like a poster. You know? You don't get that with today's music. And it's not because the forum, the, the, oh, you get digitally. No, I'm going to keep reiterating. If the albums were good and the album art was good, people would buy it. I, I just don't, I don't like that argument because it's just like movies. You can download movies digitally, but there are people out there like buying it physically. And that's because it's still a good movie. You know, Jurassic Park, people are buying that physically. You could download, you, it's digital. It's on HBO Max, but people still buy it. It, it, I think it's the same way with music. If an album is truly good, people will buy it. You know, yeah, there'll be people who maybe get it digitally, but they'll buy it physically if it's genuinely a good album. Because maybe they want to own the album art. You, that's the other thing. Well, go have go back to having cool album covers. Because that was a good way to get people to buy albums. Even if they don't necessarily know the band. Oh, Metallica, I don't know why I didn't even think of that. Metallica always kill art on their albums. Just even if you weren't a Metallica fan, you just like, dude, that's cool fucking art. I'm gonna fucking get that just for that. And then they eventually get into the music. I think that's what it used to be. You know, they're just norm that's how a lot of times they would get normies was like, oh, let's put cool album art or cover art. So people will buy it. Because you know, they'll just be on their eyes. So, oh, that looks cool, we'll buy it. They don't even know what it is. You don't get that now. Like, you know, rock grant up to be fair. But unfortunately, that's a lot of the bands that already exist. I do think sometimes you get cool album art still with rock, but that's A, either older bands, or you gotta like really look. Because unfortunately, just music is just vanilla now, and it's sad. Because the music industry is it's not even the music industry anymore. It's just... Eh. <coughs> I would love <coughs> I would love for like music to get good again but I just I'm not gonna say never but it's gonna just be on like where it's gonna be where it is right now you'll find some good under undercover stuff but unfortunately if they get big they'll probably go shit because there's also the, the executives and the people who the producers or whoever makes these decisions. <laughs> I don't know if they're still stuck in this like old school mentality. <laughs> because they don't want to ever take a chance with things. Because that's the problem. Like when you don't take a chance with things, you just get stagnant. <laughs> um, I would love like I just I don't know if music could ever really get back to where it was. Even in like the <clears throat> when I was coming up, like early to mid aughts. You know, I don't even think you can get back to that point because <clears throat> these people don't want to get out of their own way. And they don't want to <laughs> take a chance and stuff like that. Because that was the other thing about older music. They these people used to take chances. You don't get that now. <laughs> you know, it's to a point where if you have, you're on a, on, I hate to say it, but if you're an underground artist, just stay underground. Just, you know, you'll get big on YouTube. You don't need a label. And that's the sad part. Because if you get a label, you're just going to probably become another cog in the machine of generic music. 
that's the sad part of it because it used to not be that way. Music, I want, I would love for music to get back to a point where, oh, the new Kick Ass album this week, and not even just on MTV, even just in general pop culture. I don't feel like music is that just big anymore. It's to a point where people just listen to, uh, I'll just listen to what I listen to. Like I'll listen to either if I listen to old stuff, I listen to old stuff. If I listen to new stuff, I'll listen to new stuff. But that's that's how it is. It's just kind of spread out. It's not as like it used to be the point. Like, yeah, when when a new album came out, it was a big fucking deal. You know, even like the news was talking about it. You don't get that. Now, I think the other thing too, concerts. Granted, I, I've only been to like one, really, but concerts were like uh, used to be a thing. Well, the other thing is you don't get a lot of showmen like lead singers. Fortunately, it's not a lot of Freddie Mercury's or Michael Jackson's or Prince's who, you know, or even people like Alice Cooper and Mar Marilyn Manson do an extent who would, they don't just go up on stage and sing. And I think there's too much of that. I'm not against that, but that is why, like, I always got to give it to people like, but even though I don't necessarily love their music, War, um, Alice Cooper, he tries to kiss you know, they, they try to make their concerts not just, oh, we're going to go on stage and sing. You know, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Because there's some bands that just do that. But they try to, like, be a showman with it. At least specifically the lead singers. And they try to make it like you're at a show and not just watching a guy sing. Because if that's the point, you don't necessarily want to pay a bunch of money for that. Concerts felt like an event. And a lot of these bigger concerts, like Lollapalooza or Coachella, and it's unfortunate that or warp tour it's all shit now <laughs> like these concerts used to be popping like you would get like shows that would be like you get like you know metallica megadeth um slipknot or fucking system of a down like all in one show you don't get shows like that now you don't you don't get big shows like that and that's the sad part yeah i mean i could go on about this forever because because music is one thing. You know, it's like my second love after movies, so. But I'll definitely, maybe down the line somewhere, definitely do another music-related video. But I think, uh, I'm just gonna, before I go on too long, I'm gonna cut it here. But yeah, I would love for music to get great again. But I just, at least in a bigger scale, not just, oh, there's some decent underground people. But I just don't know if we'll get to that point at this point. It's been, we're almost like, six or seven years since I did that last music related video and it's gotten worse if anything so um tomorrow like I mentioned earlier breakfast club review so that will probably be like in the morning probably the same time I did the Robocop video um and uh I think that'll be it tomorrow for videos until I mean unless I think of unless something comes up but yeah um uh, take one more hit and uh talk to y'all tomorrow. Kaepernick. And fuck the Biden administration. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Peace.